Hello, my name is Nick Link. I'm a science teacher in Detroit Public Schools, and I've always wanted to make a Science of League of Legends video where we explore several of the champions' moves and find out how ridiculous this place gets. Let's take a look at Sona's Q and see what we can figure out from the speed that it travels through their atmosphere. Assuming that it is sound like it says it is, assuming that it's at the same atmospheric pressure we have, it's dry air and the sound is traveling at 5 meters per second based on what we can see in game. The temperature required to produce that slow of a sound wave is less than a degree above absolute zero. If the atmosphere was that cold, literally every gas in it would condense to a solid or liquid. That brings into question some of the clothing choices our scantily clad champions have made. Let's take a look at Soraka's star call. She calls stars to land at a target location during battle where she needs them. Assuming the star is traveling at the speed of light, which is the fastest anything can travel in our universe, even the closest stars would take years to arrive at her target location, which would mean she has to see that far into the future to know where she's going to be during a battle, where the star needs to land. I mean, this is this is amazing foresight, but, deep, but for some reason she can't even see a few seconds ahead of her to help her be an effective combatant. Now, let's just think about how many stars there are close to us. There's only about 10,000 stars visible to the naked eye on Earth. I'm going to assume it's similar to that in their galaxy. So it would not take her very long to clear the sky of all the stars around her, you know, which would probably make people on Runeterra quite angry with her. Finally, let's take a look at Ash's ult. Riot gave us a real gem on this one. It's a beautiful example of Newton's first law. Objects in motion will stay in motion unless acted upon by an outside force. As soon as she releases her arrow, it sails at the same speed across the rift until it hits someone. There's two properties that these ar that this arrows must have in order to operate like this. One, it can't have any mass, and two, it can't be made of light. Maybe it's energetic neutrinos that make this arrow up? Who knows? We don't know. What we do know is that if it did have mass, it would fall to the ground, which it doesn't. And if it was made of light, it would be traveling at the speed of light because what we calculated in the Sona experiment was that there's literally no atmosphere on Runeterra. Certainly, more funding is needed for this research.